Hey there, today is a big day because Apple just announced that they released all their analytics data on their API. And that's a major step forward for all the developers, marketers, product managers out there, because it means that finally we're going to have control over the awesome data that's contained within the analytics report on the API, which means that we can build our own dashboards, manipulate that and find, you know, find those little nuggets that drives growth for our apps. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's okay. I mean, I'm talking about APIs and reports, so not everybody knows that from the top of their heads. So I'm going to first explain what the hell I'm talking about. So first thing, if you go to Apps Are Connect, this is what they call the trends report. So this is the old one, which has been out forever since the launch of the App Store, basically. It contains all the basic metrics with your, they call even call this app units, which is your installs, redownloads, uh, updates. Uh, your in-app purchases, your sales, and you can see this by country, by category, by device. So it's cool, you know, it's, it's, it's good enough. I think it was enough on the beginning, right, of the App Store, but as the app industry evolved and now we have like product pages and EOA traffic and all of that, this was suddenly not enough. So Apple launched a new report, which they called Analytics, which is this one. And this, this is the best report that they have because here you can see your impressions, product page views, conversion rates, downloads, sales, active devices, crashes, all of that really interesting data, but that's not all because what's cool or even cooler about these data points is that you can also drill down by, for example, by your source type. So let's say uh, search, versus explore, uh, so it's, it's taking a while to load this morning, uh, or by like by country, or by page type, or by our product page, or by campaign, or by device. So there's like there's a lot more depth uh, into these data points. Uh, that's what I mean. But the problem is this was not available on the API, and that's a problem because especially if you are trying to run a marketing program for multiple apps, or let's say if you have an Android app and an iOS app, and then want to see all this data together in one place, it is really not possible if this data is not on the API. If you don't know me, I'm Homolo. I'm the founder of Easy App Reports. So what we do is exactly what I said. So basically, uh, we enable app companies to put their data together into one dashboard. So you can see your Google Play data and your App Store data in one place. So we have been doing that for two years already. It's been quite cool, it's quite a journey. Uh, and so the thing is that at the moment, we only had data coming from Apple from their API, which means that we are limited to this old trends KPIs. But what we did, because we know that this is super important, right? I mean. I'm also from the app industry. Like I love these metrics. These are the most important ones. So we, we created an, a Google Chrome extension, uh, which you can log in and then you log in, you click on a button and we download this data for you. But you'd have to do this, for example, every day, if you wanted to see new data every day, which is a bit of a hassle. I mean, it's not a big problem. I mean, you just log in, click on a button and then you go grab a coffee and in a minute, the data is there, but still like, it is a manual processor and no one likes that. Also, because it is kind of a scraping process, it will take a while and you have to do this for multiple apps. And also we were not downloading all the data points because that will take like many, many minutes to download. Uh, so it was, there were, there were limitations. And that's the thing that's changing this morning on March 6th. So, if we go to the news and updates on the App Store, we can see now that there's this new version called the App Store Connect API 3.4. And it says that you can now download App Store and iOS reports to get data about your app's performance, as well as for annual install reports. So this is also has to do with the changes uh, in Europe for the App Store. But let's, let's dive deeper. So it says that now, actually, let me start here. Yeah, so new features. It says that now you can use the Analytics Reports API to download and analyze your app's usage, performance, and find opportunities for improvement. 
And that's the thing that we're excited about. So let me show you this. So basically it says that, yeah, now you need to have these user roles to be able to download these reports. So also, of course, we're going to build wikis and some uh, guidelines on, on how to do that exactly. But it is saying that if you have any of these accesses, then you'll be able to download the analytics reports as well. But what does it contain? Like, it's not very clear. What we can see by now is this, like they haven't announced like a table with all the fields just yet. They just released this. So you have App Store engagement, which is engagement information shows how people find, discover and share your app on the App Store. So I'm assuming this is about uh, impressions, for example, and page views and conversion rates. So all the kind of pre-install metrics that you can see about your app on the App Store itself. Then you have App Store Commerce. And this is about the in-app metrics. So all the stuff that happens after the app install. So it's your downloads, probably your total downloads, first, first downloads, redownloads, pre-orders and purchases. I'm hoping that they are also including the revenue in your currency, because uh, a problem that we have with the trends report, for example, is that you only have uh, your proceeds and revenue uh, in the currency of the customer who bought your subscription. So if you have a global app, that means that you have transactions in many, many countries, and then therefore uh, all the calculations are going to be on your currency, if that's uh, the US dollar or euro or uh, any other currency out there. So I'm hoping that just like you can see on analytics, for example, if I go here, I can see my proceeds in dollars. So I'm hoping that they did that. We're going to find out very, very soon. More. Then you have your app usage. So it's more, this is more analytics, really. So it's about sessions, installations, crashes, and probably also uh, active devices. I'm hoping the retention cohort as well, that would be a major, major step forward, especially because Google Play is not really sharing that information. So if Apple does that, then from then is also a competitive advantage. So I'm hoping that we're going to find that as well. And then we have other things on the framework usage and uh, on the performance as well. This is interesting. Uh, I'm not really sure. I, I mean, I have a few guesses uh, on what this could be, but I'm not sure. So I'm probably doing a video specifically on the framework usage and the performance later. But this, like, this sounds extremely interesting because it says, for example, here that sh it shows how your app performs and how users interact with specific features. So I'm guessing this is all about features which are iOS native. So it's stuff that's only available uh, on iOS as well. So for example, if your app connects with the health kit, then there's probably going to be features associated with that. And then you can see the statistics behind it. I mean, uh, this is not for everybody, but for people who are leveraging the iOS native features, this might be big because so far it's been frustrating for developers to re really understand how are their customers interacting with these services. So guys, so that's all. We're super, super excited. Uh, the team is already working uh, on the integration of analytics uh, on our side. This means, of course, that we're also uh, probably not using our Google Chrome extension as well, but I think we're all happy about that anyway. And uh, that's all. So as we figure things out about, okay, what exactly is contained on these reports? Of course, we're going to share uh, on LinkedIn, on our website, uh, on our email. So stay tuned. Uh, on LinkedIn, we are Beyond Analytics. That's the name of our company. So follow us there because as soon as we have more details, we're going to share more information about this update. But again, like super, super exciting stuff. Uh, yeah, I hope that you like it as much as we do. That was it. See you next time. Bye-bye.